We've all been here, lots of gear, and nowhere to plug it in. Let's solve this problem. A quick trip to the hardware store later, and here we have all the bits to do this project. Now to figure out a layout that will let even the largest wall wart plug in without blocking the row beneath. Transferring the outline of the junction boxes to the plywood. And here's the layout. One quarter inch plywood was used because I already had a piece. Next, the plug groups were wired up. Each plug group has three plugs on its own switch. I installed some of the plug groups in the junction boxes. This ended up being a mistake, as the protruding wire made it impossible to mount on the plywood. After a quick trip outside to use some saws, we have the plywood plate cut out. Now with a coat of fast dry white spray paint to make it look nice. After removing the plug groups, the junction boxes were mounted on the plywood. These are old work junction boxes and clamped to the back side of the plywood. Now the plug groups were reinstalled with a wire going to the upper right junction box to tie into the incoming power. This was the hardest part of the entire project, connecting all four plug groups and the power cord. If I did this again, I would make the wiring coming into this box longer to make joining everything together easier. With the wiring done and all the plug groups mounted, the face plates were installed next. To make using this easier, I wanted to mount this assembly at an angle. After another quick trip outside to use the saw, I had my parts, which were attached to the back of the plywood with glue and screws. Now this project is ready to use. Ah, much better. With room for even more gear. Estimated cost of around $100. Thanks for watching.